Hey guys, it's your girl Nash and Peely for nationally.com and it is a beautiful day, a bit cloudy, but you know how that go, we out here. Um, I'm soaking it up today, but I wanted to talk to you about, um, I wanted to answer a question actually, and unfortunately the person had deleted the question, but um, I had at least got a chance to look at it and I thought it was a really good question. Um, so if you're listening, uh, you shouldn't have deleted it. It was a great question. Um, regarding um, being spiritual um, when you're dealing with racism. And I thought it was a really good question. Like, how do you deal with, how do you be spiritual in the midst of racism? And I think I can want to answer that in two parts. Um, the first part is, like, if you're receiving racism right you're the one who's the victim in it and the part of that i want you to understand that a lot of times what's happening when racism happens to you is almost like you're being a mirror reflection okay just like a mirror reflecting and a lot of times when someone comes into a space with another person and they hate their skin color and um, and you're a spiritual person, you're on a spiritual path, and you're really understanding of, you know, as you said, your spirit, the spiritual universal laws, and your pathway and everything, but still, when you have to deal with this, it's like, you know, you're only human, and I totally get that. You know, you have feelings, you have emotions, absolutely, you are human. But for the other person, if you're looking at the other person, and you know who you are, that comes back to self-awareness, you know who you are, no matter what, you know, like, it's almost like to me, when a person is racist to another person, it's like very childish, right? And at the same time, it's like, you have so much of a fear, and I'm going to get into that other side. Um, but when you're receiving racism, just know that you're being a mirror reflection. And when you're a mirror reflection, what happens is, is that, you know, you're reflecting something about them that they are not liking within themselves. And that is what's going on. Okay, guys. Um, the other side of that, if you are on a spiritual path, as you say, and but you are giving out, dishing out racism, then I have to ask you, like, what are you afraid of? What is your fear? Because when someone is racist to another person, that just shows that they are fearful about something of that person. Like you are, um, you feel you feel um, very small. You feel like you are, for some reason, like you don't have a stance. You don't have. Um, a place in this world and so when a person is racist to another person you know their intentions their mindset is so far gone that um, they're not a the type of people to reason with and if a person is dishing out but claims to be spiritual you've got to see that first of all those are two parallel there are two different platforms their feet are straddled over the fence and um, because you can't be spiritual and be so hateful, that it doesn't work. Like that, that there's no combination for that. So that just shows me you have a fear, and that you have no self awareness. You have no understanding of who you are. You know that you have to utilize a blaming system towards another person, because you cannot take full responsibility for yourself for your actions and who you are as a person, right? This all fear, it's all fear based and it's a conjecture of things that you're looking so far into the future that you're just like, no, no way, no way, no way. And this is all illusion. So I hope I answer your question that it, bottom line it is self-awareness. If you are self-aware on either platforms, None of this on the outside, the illusion, is going to affect you. Period. I love you guys a lot. Leave me your comments below. Like this video. I hope you answered your question really well. I hope you check it out. I love you guys. I'll be back in another video in two, two, 